This is a carburetor out of a Chinese scooter. All the 125 and 150 cc Chinese scooters use the same GY6 engine and this same carburetor. Today I'll be taking it apart and showing you how it works. First, let's look at the outside of the carburetor. Air comes in through the bigger hole at the back. The smaller hole goes to the intake manifold on the engine. The throttle cable and idle speed screw are on the right side. The fuel inlet hose connects on the left side. The black thing with the wires is called the idle enricher. This helps the engine run when it's cold. It's like a choke. There's a fuel drain port and screw on the bottom of the carburetor to get gas out for storing the scooter in the winter. The idle mixture screw is next to the engine side. Whoops, looks like there's a cap over it. Let's drill that out. With the cap off, you can use a flathead screwdriver to adjust idle mixture. Let's take that idle enricher richer off. It has a few holes for fuel. I'm pulling the cap off and removing the idle enricher from the ports. It's basically a little solenoid. It looks like there's a spring inside. When the engine is running, the idle enricher gets 12 volts power. I'm going to connect it to a battery to see what it does. Okay, start the clock. And it takes about five minutes for the little needle to move out. The top of the carburetor has a steel cap with a spring behind it. The black cylinder is the throttle slide. The plastic piece inside holds the needle in place. The needle controls fuel mixture. It looks like this one has a little washer. Adding washers is one of the adjustments you can do to tune the carburetor. The right side of the carburetor also has a diaphragm with a spring. This connects to a hose that runs to the intake manifold. This part controls the slow jet. The float bowl is held on by four screws. Let's open that up. There's a fuel drain on the bottom of the carburetor. The float is attached to the fuel inlet valve. The smaller jet that sticks out more is the main jet. The longer jet with many holes is the pilot jet. And there it is, the GY6 carburetor in pieces. All right, I have this thing pretty well taken apart, but I want to see more. Sorry, little guy. You're not going to survive this. This carburetor's scooting days are over, but it's going to serve a better purpose now. You ready to look inside? First, the gas enters the carburetor through the fuel inlet valve. This valve is controlled by the float. When the fuel is low, the float sinks and opens the valve, letting more gas back in. When you twist the throttle, a throttle plate opens and lets more air into the carburetor. Notice that even when the throttle is closed, the throttle valve, also called the butterfly valve, is not sealed. Some air will always get past it. This allows the engine to idle. Turning the idle speed screw clockwise opens the throttle a little bit more, letting more air in. The idle fuel comes up through the first passage without a jet. The fuel comes up to a by the electronic idle enricher. We already know this needle moves out as the engine warms up. When it's warm, less gas goes past the idle enricher. The gas then goes to the idle mixture screw. Turning it clockwise lets less gas through, making the mixture more lean. The idle fuel comes out of a port just past the throttle plate. The pilot jet screws into the deeper slot in the carburetor. Most GY6 carburetors come with a size 35 jet. You can go up in size if you did performance upgrades like intake, exhaust, or a bigger piston. If you're at 4,000 feet or more above sea level, you may need a smaller jet than stock. The pilot jet works just above idle up to a quarter throttle. The fuel flows from the float bowl through the pilot jet, then out some small holes by the throttle plate. The top part of the carburetor, just below the slide diaphragm, has air in it. A small hole takes air down to the idle jet pump. That's the round thing on the side of the carburetor that has a vacuum hose. As the engine is running, intake manifold vacuum pulses up and down. This makes the pump work. When you're past one quarter throttle, vacuum goes down and the pump stops. The pilot jet pump pushes air down just behind the pilot jet and helps the engine run just above idle by mixing air and gas. The main jet is the smaller one that sticks down into the bottom of the float bowl. This is the most important jet for tuning. Scooters usually come stock with a size 108 or 110 jet. Go down in size at high elevation above 4,000 feet, or go up in size if you have a better flowing intake, exhaust, or other performance upgrades. As the throttle plate opens, more air flows under the throttle slide. That's the black plastic cylinder in the middle of the carburetor. It has two holes in the bottom of it. The engine sucks air out of the throttle slide diaphragm, and the throttle slide moves up, letting more air in. As the throttle slide moves up, so does the needle. The needle lets more gas through the main jet. Adding washers to the needle gives the engine gas sooner, but doesn't affect the mixture at full throttle. Okay, now just a quick summary. Idle fuel comes out past the throttle plate. Just above idle to quarter throttle, the pilot jet takes over. Then past quarter throttle, the main jet and throttle slide control the air to fuel mixture. Alright, that's it. Knowing how the carburetor works will make tuning it much easier. And if you don't already know, I have a lot of other scooter videos. You can use the link up here to get to them. If you own a Chinese scooter, you should definitely consider subscribing to my channel. And that's it for now. Until next time, keep scooting.